everyone um, in this video I'm going to show you how to combine a range of different tools in Photopea to create um, a poster or an advert um, but basically these techniques can be applied to any idea that you have they're very simple but combined together they look very very effective so I've created a quick little poster here just to show you some of the skills this is for the Australian tourist board it says welcome to Australia it's got a little picture of a parrot there um, I'm going to show you how I did that Right, the first thing is you need to have some images. So you need to have those images found um, and you need to have them saved. I'm going to open up that parrot first of all. Um, so I'm going to go to file open and I'm going to find in my downloads. Uh, where am I? There. I'm going to find my parrot. There it is. And you can see that my parrot started off with a dark background, not that watercolour background. So in Photopea it has a really cool tool to get rid of the background as long as you have got a background with a very contrasting background foreground. So the parrot's the foreground and this dark colour is the background. This is perfect for the Select Magic Cut tool. Select Magic Cut. Now I have clicked it even though it, um, it's not doing anything. That's because Photop is working behind the scenes to try and get rid of that background for me. It's done a pretty good job but it's missed off the tail um, feathers of this parrot. So I can fix that. If I go up here to this green colour and select it, I can then just colour those tail feathers. Not, you don't have to colour them all, just colour a few of them. And it tells Photopea that those tail feathers are to stay. And you can see that it's done that. But it's also taken a bit of the background here. So I'm going to click on the red colour and just draw a little bit of red in that space there to tell Photopea that that's actually the background. And you can see it's done a pretty good job. This um, tool, this Select Magic Cut tool, only really works for very contrasting foreground background so be clear on that it's not going to work for all your pictures okay right now that I've got my background missing I can then file open and place that's open and place to open up my new background um, and you know what I'll use that picture there even though it doesn't look quite as nice as my waterfall it has placed it on top of my um, parrot you can see here in the layers panel so I'm going to click and drag that down so it goes below my parrot. That well, doesn't look too bad, actually. Right, so there, there I have my parrot on top of a new background image. Um, now, that background image is quite bright. If I try and put some text on top of that, um, the contrast is not going to be great. So I can actually make sure that my background is selected in the layers panel. I can lower down the opacity of that background a little bit. And I know it's got a checkerboard effect on it, but that will disappear once we save it as a JPEG. Okay, right now the next thing I'm going to do and probably the final thing to make your very simple advert or marketing materials I'm going to add some text. So I've gone down to my layers panel on the left hand side here and I've chosen the text tool. I can then go up to my text um, style here and I'm going to scroll through, scroll through. There are loads of different um, text styles in here, font styles. So choose one that sort of works with what, what you're trying to do. Um, stay clear of the crazy ones um, like this because your audience won't be able to read those always always try and think about your audience and not everybody is able to read those crazy fonts easily um, I'm just going to choose quite a quick one this one here um, and then you're going to need to change the size so I've, I've already set it to 100 that might be enough you know I might change it to 120 press enter and then you can drag onto your uh, canvas your text panel here and it should be set to 120 and it's got that font in there and I'm going to put again like my other one welcome to Australia okay now it's gone underneath there I don't want it to do that so I'm just gonna make my text panel a bit wider and then I'm going to use up here my pointer tool and move my text so it goes below and you can see that it's sandwiched between my background and my foreground now you might like that that might be a technique that, that you know works for you in your project I don't I'm gonna drag my text tool above it so that I've got welcome to Australia that now goes over my parrot now you can see there that the Australia is going over my parrot and it you can't really read that last bit I could double click it and highlight it and I could change the color by clicking on this bo little box up here, the color picker tool. And I could change the color to maybe something a bit darker. See if that works. I'm just going to deselect that by clicking on my move tool. 
so that that's okay but i actually like that blue in the parrot so i'm going to double click it again highlight it go to this little tool up here but i'm actually going to take a color from the parrot so my picker tool is here i'm going to choose it's now that lovely tealy color so i'm going to press okay now that's not going to stand out so the last thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add what's called a stroke to this text so i'm going to highlight it all again double click it highlight it and i'm going to go over to the layers panel and i'm going to click here where there's no text so it says welcome to australia then there's a bit of a space i have to click here double click on that and your layer style dialog box comes up and then i can choose stroke now it'll let me tick the stroke but you won't see any of the stroke features unless you click on the stroke okay so make sure you click on the stroke now you can change the color of the stroke so it's set to white there but what if i wanted it more black okay i mean to be honest the white didn't look too bad uh, the size of the stroke you can make it a bit thicker if you wanted it to okay don't go too crazy though okay so have a little play around in there once you're happy press okay and then the final thing you need to do is save it twice okay so if you're using this um to print off or you're sending this on an email or you are uploading this to a website you really do need to go to file export as either a png or a jpeg okay so i'm going to export it as a jpeg okay the name is a bit crazy at the minute because it's just the name of that random file that i downloaded from pixabay so i'm going to call this now australian advert okay so i'm happy with the name and it's saved as jpeg and i'm going to click save now that has gone down here into my download folder so you can check what that looks like when you try your own so i'll just open that up to show you so that doesn't look too bad and you can see there that my background being faded makes it a lot easier to read my text but the last thing you need to do is always save it as a psd as well always in case you need to go back and do any edit so i'm going to save that you know you really should save it in a in a folder in a, in a place where you'll find it again so i'm going to call this australian uh, advert again okay and i'm going to click save that's saved as a psd why do we need to save it as a psd because it retains these layers so if you wanted to go back and edit say that stroke later on you can do okay so that's it lots of techniques there very simple but combined you can create any kind of little simple advert or marketing material that you like for free using photopea have fun everyone